One of the most important questions facing scientists right now is just how long immunity will last after you're fully vaccinated. ABC 10 News reporter Jared Aaron takes an in-depth look at a study in La Jolla that is trying to find a definitive answer. We're excited about this vaccine study. Inside the brand new Center for Clinical Investigation at the La Jolla Institute for Immunology, they're doing a study unlike anything ever attempted with COVID-19 immunity. We want to be able to compare them head to head and understand how well people's bodies remember these different vaccines. Dr. Shane Crotty and Alessandro Sete are leading the research into four COVID vaccines, Pfizer, Moderna, Johnson & Johnson, and Novavax, to see how long they protect against COVID-19. We have been following people that have been vaccinated uh, <clears throat> with the different vaccines, and we will follow them over time and see how uh, their response looks like. They're also looking at people who have natural immunity from getting the virus. It's the first time ever that researchers have been able to look at all of that at the same time in the same lab. To have everything done under one roof is, uh, is very important. But to do it, they need blood. And that's where I stop being only a reporter all the way up and become part of this story. I heard the team was looking specifically for people who got the Johnson & Johnson shot, which I received earlier this spring. So I set aside my fear of needles and made my first donation to science. We've got plenty in the RNA vaccine groups um, because those have been the most widespread vaccines and they got uh, uh, released earlier. And so we're really excited to enroll more people who got the J&J &J vaccine because that's that's what we're short on at the moment. Volunteers like me will give blood several times over the next year. Our blood gets broken down to a cellular level, allowing the researchers to look at two things, antibodies, which help prevent infection, and T cells, which fight the disease. By measuring them over time, they'll find out how long each type of immunity lasts. So even if we can get sort of one month, three month, six month time points, we can really get a decent estimate about what's probably going to happen for several years. The study is blind, so the researchers never know whose blood they're looking at. Because of that, volunteers will never know what their immunity levels are. But the information their blood provides will help the CDC set guidelines for everything from booster shots to mask wearing. The La Jolla Institute published some early results on natural immunity in January and hope to have info about the vaccines soon. So far, the results look promising. With the vaccines, what we are seeing is that the response tend to be higher uh, than natural infection and also less variable from one individual to the next. In addition to how long immunity lasts, the study will show the different levels of immunity from each type of vaccine and how well each one works against variants. It could lead to a better understanding of how to make the next vaccine for a future pandemic all thanks to a little blood and a lot of hard work. There are no words to describe how grateful we are to the people that donate blood and participate in our studies and uh, we really contribute to understanding this pandemic. In La Jolla, Jared Ahrens, ABC 10 News. Go Jared. So if you are interested in participating in this study, we have put a link to the La Jolla Institute on our website, 10news.com. You can also send your questions and ideas for stories that require an in-depth look. Just email us at that address, tips at 10news.com.